What's up guys, welcome to Life Lesson for Men, the channel where we try to improve ourselves. So yesterday I got a very good comment and thank you for the comment because it actually allowed me to make this video and it actually helps out the algorithm as well so every like, comment and sub really counts, really helps the channel out. So if you like this video, please leave a like and leave a sub and a comment if you have any questions. Alright, so let's get to the topic of hand. So yesterday the commenter asked whether finasteride will inhibit the growth of beard when you're using minoxidil. The answer to that question is first, yes. But we, let's first talk about what finasteride is and what it does. Now as men we produce a lot of testosterone, all right? And the byproduct of testosterone is called dehydrotestosterone or DHT. Now the unfortunate thing about that is DHT actually binds to their hair follicles and causes them to shrink which then causes hair loss, all right? So, finasteride actually inhibits DHT by up to 60 to 70 percent, which is quite a bit. Now, the thing about DHT is you actually need it for hair growth. So, if you're using minoxidil to for beard growth and you're also using finasteride, you're actually limiting yourself because you're blocking DHT production by up to 60 to 70 percent. Now, my thinking is you can still grow a beard using minoxidil even if you're on finasteride or using a DHT blocker however the problem will be will be a lot slower I was actually on reddit on a sub forum called uh, minoxidil beard where guys talk about the minoxidil beard journeys and how things are coming along now on the on the subreddit I actually read a you know a what is it a thread where the guy actually spoke about using finasteride and minoxidil now it took him about five months for him to see significant results using minoxidil while using finasteride but he did see significant results so my belief is that you can still grow a beard however it'll just be a lot slower it'll just be it'll just take longer now i'm using finasteride myself because i do have a receding hairline i've been using it for about a month i've been you know, using minoxidil for beer growth for about uh, seven weeks now. This week will be eight weeks, and uh, I've definitely noticed growth. Um, the patches, the large patches I have, are starting to fill in a little bit. But I do believe if I wasn't using finasteride, the progress would would be faster. However, I'm a patient man. I'm willing to wait. So if you know, if five months comes and I have significant growth, guess what? I'll take that any day of the week. But another thing we have to keep in mind is that there are other products that actually inhibit DHT as well, topical products such as oil. So a lot of beard oils such as coconut oil, actually I'm not even going to go off the top of my head. I actually wrote this down on my phone so give me a quick second, alright? Alright, so here we go. Now I have the things that you know inhibit DHT right here. So it is aloe vera, argan oil, coconut oil. EMU oil, grapeseed oil, olive oil, sweet almond oil. So those all inhibit DHT. So if you're using finasteride, I'll say don't use those products as well for your beard because it just makes things worse, all right? But there are products out there that actually really, really help in beard growth itself. Oils that you can use that moisturize, you know, your face while using minoxidil because minoxidil does really dry out your face. And it also actually helps beer growth itself, hair growth itself. Now, we're gonna get into, so this video is gonna be two parts. Now, I'm about to go show you those products right now. All right, let's go. All right, guys, so here we are in my bathroom. Now, I previously mentioned that there are products out there that actually help beer growth while also moisturizing your skin when using minoxidil, all right? So here they are right here. This is just two of them. We have here Jamaican black castor oil. I'm sure you really can't see it, but it's Jamaican black castor oil. Now this is very helpful because what it does is when you apply it, all the nutrients, minerals, and vitamins actually go to the hair follicles themselves and it actually causes hair growth, all right? So on the other one, we have here peppermint essential oil. Now this is something I started using last week. I've been using the Jamaican castor oil for the whole time I've been using minoxidil and it really does help with moisturizing my skin. And like I said, it's actually proven to also help with hair growth. All right, so the peppermint essential oil is extremely potent. So what you have to do is you actually have to dilute it in a carrier oil. Now the carrier oil I use is Jamaican black castor oil. So I think I'm getting, you know, a bang for my buck using this. I already bought it. And I have this here, so put them together. 
and you dilute it and you have to dilute it to about 3% actually. Now this is actually proven, this is like scientific research has been done on this, proven that this actually does help with hair growth whether it's on the head or the beard, all right? So this is something you can use as well in accordance with, with the Jamaican black castor oil to moisturize your skin and to actually accelerate hair growth. So instead of using the other oils that I mentioned earlier on that actually have DHT inhibitors in them, this one right here, it does not and it gets the job done and it causes hair growth as well. So I would highly recommend you look into these. Now I'm not gonna leave any links below because I'm not trying to sell you anything. I'm just trying to provide you guys with information that can help you out. All right, that's really it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And, and if you did, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Like I said earlier, it really helps the channel out. Take it easy, peace, stay safe out there. All right, bye.